All right, and we should be live. Hello, everyone. After our short break, hey guys, we are back with uh, V playing. I want to go to the spook house. Hi. Hi. All right. Uh, do you want to count me down, or should I do it? Uh, let me wait till Wilkes says something about the audio. All right. <laughs> there it is. Thank you, Baron. It's good. All righty. Um. All right, on, okay, ready? Uh, yep. All righty, three, two, one, go. Hello, my name is V, Victoria, V the Ghost, whatever you want to call me. And this is a game called I Want to Go to the Spook House. Uh, it's by Cephalos, with the help of Patrick. <clears throat> You're ugly, Baron, shut up. Just kidding, I love you. Anyway. I'll try my hardest not to get spooked. I'm already kind of spooked. So, this game is really short. So a good run is like really optimized. It's uh, it's hard to not have really high standards, but I'm gonna try to not worry about it too much and just have a good time. So this room's pretty simple, but interesting gimmicks. So. As you can see, there's a magnifying glass over to the right. Uh, it shows you which flames you can touch. Oops. But I don't need those because I've played this game before. Please do this. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm kind of nervous. Alright, didn't choke. Cool. Same thing here. And... That's always the bottom one, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, okay, so that's a save bug. I don't know what causes it. Kid. I don't know what causes it, but sometimes shooting a save just doesn't work. It's pretty. I don't know what causes it. <laughs> you need to. I mean, it's kind of late for a fix, but you know. So this screen's cool. I like this one a lot. You just have to chase the ghost around and make it go to the different places by touching it. And then once you touch the last one, the uh, block right there, oops, the block right there uh, disappears and you can go up to the elevator. Please. Spooking me, MQ. Don't do that. So I did actually. I can't do this jump apparently. <clears throat> um, I did actually PB just a little bit before recording this or streaming this. Um, the f I did it twice. The first one was better by like 20 seconds, but I wasn't recording. Uh, and the one I did get on camera, I can't do this room, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> the one I did get on camera was like 5 minutes, which is pretty good. Almost on the dot. <sighs> one day, one day we'll be past this. I promise you it's not pre-recorded. <laughs> if this were a pre-recorded run, it wouldn't be this bad. That's okay. Got plenty of time. By the way, feel free to use my uh, really good emotes. My face went nutmeg. This room's uh, pretty... Well, it's not straightforward, but there's not much to it. It's pretty much just finding invisible... Or not invisible, but fake blocks. And uh, just walking through them. So that's it. This room used to be my nightmare. It still kind of is, but it's not that bad, thankfully. It's pretty cool, actually. It's one of my favorites, gimmick-wise. You just need to... Um, you can't turn left until you get to the very end, or else the ghost moves from the thing, and the box won't be 
helpful. Dude. Cool job. Don't choke at the end. Thank you. Okay. I always shoot there more than once because it this save in particular likes to not save when you shoot it for some reason. And then of course the the classic double kit gimmick. A real family favorite. Friend family favorite. <laughs> Good. I always die on this screen a few times, at least. I don't think I've had a run where I didn't die there. Alright, so now we got a boss. It's a Giza ghost. You have to be really nice to him a few times. And then drop a fat meme on him. And it's like Undertale, as you can see. Nico Nico Ni. <coughs> Excuse me, by the way. This game is actually just a story about you meeting me. You, the viewer. So if you ever meet me, just compliment me a bunch and then say some stupid stuff. And I'll love you forever. That's how me and MQ became friends. Along with, like, everyone else in this community that I've become friends with. That attack's really easy, except I got hit on it, so it's not easy, it's really hard. Neat! Do it! That's the perfect one! Thank you, game. If you guys don't do it, I'm gonna be mad. I did the wrong one! Well, you get to stay with me a little bit longer, sorry. Oh my goodness! There it is. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. <sighs> Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Uh, we're almost done with this run. Time is whenever I walk outside of this room. Time. Cool. That was like seven minutes or something. Seven ten ish, right? I think. Seven sixteen. Nice. Not as bad as it could have been. Yeah, nice run. Thank you. Another short, very short and sweet run. Yeah. I don't it's know. It's nice to have those amid the uh, multi hour runs. Oh yeah. You also have the marathon. <laughs> yeah. Gotta sprinkle some smaller but sweet games in. Mm-hmm. Anyway, thank you guys for having me. It's been nice. Yeah, thank you. Up next, we are going to have um, Eric doing a run of I Want to Be the Chair, which is not a game I don't think we've seen in any marathon. Well, it's, it's a game no one really runs that often, so it's, it'll be interesting. Hmm. So yeah, uh, stay tuned for that. Yeah. <coughs> thank you again. Uh, I love you, chat. I couldn't talk to you very much during that run, but it's been nice. So. <laughs>